Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. In John 3.3, 3, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again, born from above. Verse 6, it says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And in Genesis, it talks about everything reproduces after its own kind. So it's very important for us to see, according to 2 Peter chapter 1, it says, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed by the word, the rhema, the truth of the word of God, heard in your heart, believed in your heart, confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord, you can be born again. And the Bible is trying to tell us that there really is a hopeless realm, a hopeless realm, as Romans 8 says, of sin and death. But if you're a believer in the Lord, it says the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has freed you from the law of sin and death. In John 10, Jesus said, I have come to give you life. And that word life is the word zoe. And you find that's a Greek word meaning life. It's a new kind of life. It's a, a God kind of life. It's now through that word of God, God is reproducing through that seed of the new birth you are born again, as Peter said, into a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. So in, in John 6, very important, verse 2 and 63, it says, my, Jesus said, my words are spirit and they are life, zoe, spirit and life. 2 Corinthians 3 tells us, Paul tells us that the word of God is there for you in all its glory but it says the letter killeth but the spirit gives life but if we continue to look into that perfect law of liberty and continue in that continue in that new birth in what Jesus has done for us and we look onto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith one day we will stand before him and hopefully we will hear those words well done my good and faithful servant